you can look at the map and oh, yeah, try and yeah, see if you can see the highlighter mark. Oh! Um, hmm. Which people use highlighter so often. There is highlighter on this. There is highlighter oh, on there. Oh, man. Nord Anglia, can you see the highlighter? <laughs> I can! This is me. I'm Abby, an MIT Curiosity correspondent. And I'm no stranger to wearing wacky outfits, but this is new. <laughs> we have the same outfit on! <laughs> I'm wearing an Agnes suit in MIT's Age Lab. It's a place on campus that connects engineers, designers, and even social scientists, or occasionally Australian actor Chris Hemsworth, to innovate the built environment of tomorrow. It's where I met Sophia and Lauren. They're researchers at the Age Lab who introduced me to Agnes. Agnes stands for the Age Gain Now Empathy System. And so the idea with Agnes is that you have a suit that simulates aging. So you put this suit on and it makes you feel like an older version of yourself. So we're gonna have you put on a weighted vest to kind of simulate some muscle loss you might start to experience. Yeah. And now we're gonna put on a bungee belt. So this is getting at reduction in range of motion and also oh. some spinal compression. And now you can step into the Crocs. Yes. <laughs> they have a thick layer of foam on the bottom so it's getting at some tactile sensation loss and imbalance you might start to yeah, experience. Yeah, imbalance I noticed literally right away. And neck brace. <laughs> well, this maybe just sounds like a fun little thing to experience. It's actually something that we use with designers, engineers, thinking about city planners, government officials. How can we as a society make our world better for older adults and thus making it better for everyone? When I recently traveled to Switzerland, Sophia and Lauren had this great idea to send some of Agnes with me. So the goggles here are simulating different eye conditions that are common as we age. So here we have impaired acuity, which um, is really just standard low vision. So if you wear glasses or contacts day to day, it might be a little bit like that. We also have tunnel vision, which is another thing that can happen as a result of other eye conditions. Ooh, yeah. What do you think? I would not like to live with that. Yeah. How would your life be different? Like, maybe I don't see things that are coming. It'd be harder to play football, because if the ball's coming on your right, you really have to turn your head. That. There's a lot of research that people who are born now will be living longer and longer lives. So it's really important that as we think about people living longer lives, um, including people like you, maybe. We want to be able to live longer. We want you to still be able to play football and do all of the activities that um, you still like to do. Just thinking about how can we change maybe our spaces or the way we think about different things to make sure that's still possible for you and others. Imagine you've dropped, you've dropped something. Oh, no. I might just leave it there. How bad do I need the light? <laughs> I think these glasses are actually really, really, could be really useful to um, in nursing homes, because my grandmother is in a nursing home, mm -hmm. and it would be good for uh, the people, the caretakers, I'm not saying the caretakers are mm. bad, but for them to have empathy. Yeah. Because after after seeing this, I, I realized, like, oh my goodness, mm. it's, it's, it's hard. I think that gets into a little bit of the empathy idea where you, um, maybe for a family member, you get a little bit more of what they go through, and that's a really powerful thing. So this is not just for eye impairments, but for everything. My grandmother is currently going through some memory loss problems. Is there a foreseeable future where there's no more memory loss problems and where people can live coherent lives when they're elderly? That's a big question, Zeth. I hope so. I hope that medical technology takes us in that direction. But I think what we can think about and maybe put a positive spin on this is how can we make life better for people who are living with dementia? You know, the Age Lab is still working on things to make our lives better now, which is really exciting. Rudy and Zeth, you had amazing questions. Thank you so much for asking them. Keep up those curiosities and um, maybe you'll be an aging researcher, potentially. It's always a career option. I love how you connected your Agnes Goggles experience to your own family members. Um, that makes me very happy because that is really the point of what we're trying to do with Agnes. So thank you so much.